Hey, we're going to head down to the Register Building in Santa Ana. Who's standing by? You got it. Orange County Register columnist for OC Outdoors, David Whiting. How are you, David? Terrific, Ed. <laughs> what was this little event you participated in this past weekend? Well, this is something called the Pacific Coast Triathlon, and it's one of Orange County's premier events. It's a, they call it a sprint distant event, but you know what? If you're doing it, man, it seems like a pretty long way. You end up swimming in the ocean for a half a mile, then you bike along Pacific Coast Highway, and this is a Corona del Mar area where there's a lot of, a lot of those hills, and then you run along the beach, and running in sand is, is uh, it's not exactly chariots of fire. It's pretty <laughs> tough, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Here you can see the uh, cyclist part of portion of the event, and this is, as we said, on Pacific Coast Highway, right near Crystal Cove. Little uh, marine layer there on Sunday morning, keeping things cool, but lots of folks out there on the course, and everybody having a great time. I'll add that there's more than 1,000 people who registered for this event, and nearly 1,000 showed up, so it was a pretty wow. neat day. So you not only participated in it, though, you covered it for the register. You're kind of doing double duty here. How long did you have to train for this? Well, um, I'm kind of always training for something, but uh, with this sort of event, I think that the average person can probably get ready in about ten, six to ten weeks, depending on their condition. Hmm. Like I said, um, it's a pretty short event. The trick is take it easy. Um, go out there, have fun. Don't worry about your time. Just, just try to finish. And in fact, I was talking to one fellow after the event. He hadn't run one lick for the last six months, and he, he, and he finished. Of course, he did say he thinks he's going to alter his plan for next year. Yeah, right. Now, <laughs> how, how do you feel today? I feel pretty good. My knees, uh, they've been a little wobbly for the last couple of months, and yesterday it didn't exactly help him jumping on a bike, pedaling like crazy, and then running like mad, especially uh, in the I ended up in the water in the ocean for a little bit trying to dodge <laughs> some of the waves. I thought I had a shortcut. Not always a good thing. No. But... <laughs> <laughs> But I feel great, and it's, uh, I'll tell you, I had uh, more adventure before 9 o'clock on Sunday mornings than most folks. You know, that, that must be what really makes this triathlon special. I mean, the scenery is pretty much like no other triathlon uh, in this area, right? I would say in, in almost in the world. It is one of the world's most beautiful triathlons. This is just an exquisite area. You've got uh, folks here, of course, are, are in the transition zone right now, but you've got people... Uh, you know, you've got some of the, the rocks in the ocean, the cliffs, the Pacific Ocean, and, the, and then the sun breaking through that marine layer. It's turning everything gold. It's spectacular. I'll bet. When's our next triathlon locally? Well, the next one, good question. The next one is uh, just in a couple of weeks. It's September 28th. It's on Sunday, and it's a brand new triathlon, Orange County International Triathlon. That's an Olympic distance event, roughly twice as far as, as the, the sprint distance one. About It's about... Uh, it's a five-mile run. It's about a 20-mile bike ride, uh, roughly, and it's a 40K, technically, and, and it's a great event. There's still a couple of openings left. You can find those on my website at orangecountyregister.com, ocregister.com, backslash outdoors. Good, David. Thanks so much. All Thank right. you. Appreciate Thanks it. a lot, David.